Amit, the recent interview by former U.S. President Barack Obama, there has been a reaction now that has come in from our finance minister, Nirmala Sitaraman, on that. Remember, in many ways, there were these alarming references that were made by Barack Obama. Nirmala has hit out at uh, the former U.S. president saying, Barack Obama bombed six Muslim-majority nations and now is giving a religious freedom reference and jive. Remember, Obama had referred uh, to the minorities that must be protected uh, that he had said. Now, Nirmala Sitaraman has said Obama has dropped about 26,000 bombs on Muslims in uh, Islamic nations. And uh, now he's the one to lecture us about how to be with our Muslim brethren in the country. Remember, one by one, the ministers have started to react, but this is one of the most scathing reactions that have come from Nirmala Sitaraman, who has said that uh, the f president, when he was the president, he bombed six Islamic nations, six Muslim-majority countries, threw bombs on uh, the Muslim citizens, and he's the one lecturing us about religious freedom and how to be with our Muslim minority in India. Remember in this interview that uh, Barack Obama had given uh, to uh, Christian Amanpo, he had uh, made some, one, uh, direct comparison to China, which is brutal with regard to its treating its minorities. Uh, but now this is what Nirmala Sita Raman has said on what Obama comparing to China and India won. And secondly, literally lecturing in some way India about its religious freedom. Saudi ke le karke, Iraq, United States ke vishay mein hum achha friendship ma chate hain. Magar udar se bhi Bharat ke religious tolerance ki upar ek USAIRF hai. उनके कमेंट्स आ जाता है राष्ट्रपति जी ने कुछ बातें बोल रहे हैं जहां शायद छह देशों के खिलाफ जहां मुस्लिम पॉपुलेशन डोमिनेंट है बॉम्बिंग हुई उन्हीं के कारों में सीरिया से लेकर के यमन के लेकर के सऊदी के लेकर के इराक इराक के लेकर के बॉम्बिंग नहीं हुआ मोर देन ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड मेरे पास इतना स्पष्ट डेटा नहीं है सात कंट्री के खिलाफ उसी समय Jagda war like situation developed hua. Or more than 26,000 bombs were dropped. Aise jab countries unke apne taraf se unke rajnitik nirnay ke baare mein wo karte hain Bharat ke khilaf allegation dalne mein kaha usko sunne wale log bhi barosa rakhenge. So that is what Nirmala Sitaraman has said. Uh, and she was referring to an interview that Barack Obama had done where he was asked a question on India and strangely he compared it as if uh, China and India are on the same page. And considering how literally uh, the re-education camps that China has placed for its Muslim minority, comparing that situation uh, to India. And uh, this is what Nirmala Sitaraman has said. We we'll listen to it again. Uh, Nirmala Sitaraman this time referring to how when Barack Obama was uh, the president of United States, of America, Iraq, Syria, Libya were where airstrikes and bombing were officially approved by the United States of America and he's now lecturing India about religious freedom and how to be with our Muslim brethren. Let's go across to India today's Rahul Srivastava for the latest. Rahul, I find it very interesting that, uh, that Barack Obama would make this comment because when he was the president, it appeared all born homey with Prime Minister Narendra Modi, even though he was clearly permitting and giving sanctions to the airstrikes in Libya, Syria and other countries. Pusha, as far as the issue of minorities is concerned, this is not the first time that uh, ex-president Barack Obama has come out and uh, spoken against the situation prevailing in India. Uh, if you recall, there was a time when he targeted uh, uh, India as far as the attack on Christians was concerned. And uh, this is perhaps uh, an ecosystem in which, uh, the, in which India has been very wary of, because if you see, uh, this is exactly what Rahul Gandhi had uh, during his uh, visit to America, done that he had targeted that there are democratic norms which are being bypassed and there is a democracy at peril and uh, the rights of minorities are, are being undermined in the country. Uh, the Prime Minister, back from a very successful U.S. trip, is very obvious that somewhere within the government, from the government, there will be course correction as far as Barack Obama's comments are concerned, because somewhere India feels that in the current climate, uh, uh, current climate as far as uh, U.S. 
is concerned, its alignment uh, is fruitful as far as the Indo-US relationship is concerned, primarily because of the big factor called China. And in that, uh, Nirmala Sitaraman's comment, if you see, uh, she's talking about that how Prime Narendra Modi has been awarded from 13 countries mm. uh, which, uh, with predominantly Muslim population. Mm. And uh, yeah, again, Prime Minister was there in Egypt also, where he had a rather fruitful meetings with the, uh, with the uh, prominent personalities there mm. in the country. And what the finance minister says, in fact, in case you can notice, she has said organized campaigns were being run to level baseless allegations on the treatment meted out to minorities in India uh, at the behest of the opposition, and uh, it cannot be electorally defeated, defeat the Modi-led BJP government. What uh, Nirmala Sitaraman tried to indicate is that the campaigns being run by the opposition hmm. are being uh, endorsed by certain factors, say, for example, Barack Obama. And I think it's a very, very strong rebuttal coming Correct. from the finance minister. I, I request you to please stay on with me, Rahul, because I want the viewer to listen in again to what Nirmala Sitaraman uh, has uh, said, and then I'll return to you. United States ke vishay mein hum achha friendship ma chate hain. Magar udar se bhi Bharat ke religious tolerance ki upar ek USCIRF hai, unke comments a jata hai, Rashtrapati ji ne kuch paathen bol rahe hain. जहां शायद छह देशों के खिलाफ जहां मुस्लिम पॉपुलेशन डोमिनेंट है बॉम्बिंग हुई उन्हीं के कालों में सीरिया से लेकर के यमन के लेकर के सऊदी के लेकर के इराक इराक के लेकर के बॉम्बिंग नहीं हुआ मोर देन ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड मेरे पास इतना स्पष्ट डेटा नहीं है सात कंट्री के खिलाफ उसी समय झगड़ा वॉर लाइक सिचुएशन डेवलप हुआ or more than 26,000 bombs were dropped. Aise jab countries unke apne taraf se unke rajnitik nirnay ke baare mein wo karte hain Bharat ke khilaf allegation dalne mein kahaan usko sunne wale log bhi barosa rakhenge. Let's go back to Rahul Srivastava for the latest on that. Rahul, uh, can we also say that this time, you know, the sort of <coughs> rebuttals and the assertive nature that's coming in from the ministers is also something that's, uh, that's being noticed because, you know, while Obama and Biden may be trying to play the good cop, bad cop, they are uh, catering to their domestic politics as well. But here for India, the ministers, and there have been a lot of outrage uh, against those comments among citizens as well that... You know, why would Obama make a statement like that, specifically comparing India and putting China on the same pedestal, despite knowing the harrowing nature of what uh, China has done to its Muslim minority? Pooja, in the world of international diplomacy, uh, when we say good cop, bad cop, you see, usually what one has seen, that the Western nations and the developed nations do operate in a certain manner. They cater to or they virtually uh, go in sync with various segments of polity prevailing in a country. So if there is a Congress party today and the opposition which uh, is targeting the government, is unhappy, is charging the government with discrimination on the basis of religion and caste, there will always be lobbies uh, as far as global diplomacy is concerned which will go along with that also perhaps to keep it engaged. So. You may find Barack Obama hosting Prime Minister Narendra Modi as president, but expressing his view strongly. Uh, in February 2015, in fact, uh, President Barack Obama on the National Prayer Breakfast in Washington had uh, referenced India uh, evoking religious discrimination. He had said that in past years, religious faiths of all types have occasions been targeted by other peoples of faith simply due to their heritage and their beliefs. And it would act that would have shocked Mahatma Gandhi. So those were very strong. Now the thing has happened, uh, Puja. At one time, India used to be a slightly more moderate, uh, moderate player as Absolutely. far as global responses is concerned. But now there is a certain degree of aggression hmm. which has come to India's diplomacy. And if you see, we uh, hmm. are dealing with hmm. neighbors like Pakistan, China, for example, but also America and Europe. Uh, if you recall on Russian oil, buying mm. Russian oil, the strong statement Mr. Jay Shankar, the foreign minister, had made. Mm. There is a certain muscular diplomacy which is being followed. India realizes that it stands at a 
wonderful moment in uh, global diplomacy history where its market and its innovation and its manpower I, is definitely a strong point. That, that's a very interesting point that you're making. Perhaps India realizes the point that it's standing on at a juncture that it's standing right now on. Uh, please stay on with me because you're getting reactions from the Congress party. Congress's uh, senior leader, Rashid Alvi, is joining me on the phone line. Rashid ji, good morning. Pooja Shali here. What do you say to what Nirmala Sitaraman has said? As a minister, Nirmala Sitaraman ka kehna hai, khud unho ne, uh, Obama jab president the, tab to unho ne itne Muslim majority nations mein bombing karwai, air strike karwai. Ab wo India ko lecture denge religious freedom pe. Ye bayan tab kyu nahi diya jab wo bombing kar raha tha? Why she has given this statement today when uh, he has hmm. shown a mirror to BJP government? Aaj kyu de rahi hai wo? उस वक्त बोलना चाहिए था उस वक्त तो दैट टाइम मोदी वाज सेइंग ओबामा इज माय फ्रेंड एंड ही डिड इन एड्रेस हिम एज प्रेसिडेंट ओबामा ही यूज्ड टू से ओबामा हाउ आर यू तब तो दोस्ती थी तब तो नहीं कहा इन्होंने ये बात आज क्यों कही है कुड इट बी बिकॉज राशिद जी नाउ दैट ओबामा हैज टारगेटेड इंडिया ओबामा हैज सेड इन एन इंटरव्यू दैट इंडिया और चाइना तो एक पोजीशन पे लगते हैं द वे चाइना इज फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम्स इंडिया में भी होगा रिलीजियस का रिलीजियस फ्रीडम ओबामा ने ओबामा ने इंडिया को टारगेट नहीं किया है ओबामा ने बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट को टारगेट किया है देयर इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन बोथ मुश्किल क्या है कि अगर बीजेपी और मोदी साहब को कोई मिरर दिखाता है तो एकदम कहना शुरू हो जाता है कि भारत पे हमला हो गया भारत पे किसी की हिम्मत नहीं है हमला करने की बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट अवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड दिस फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर शुड रियलाइज इट क्या हो रहा है इन्हें एहसास होना चाहिए बजाय इसके के क्या इससे कोई वेदर दिस स्टेटमेंट विल मेक एनी डिफरेंस इन द होल ऑफ वर्ल्ड वन साइड दिस चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ आसाम इज सेंग समथिंग एल्स There are so many Hussains in, in India. It means what Obama is saying is correct, hmm. and now this finance minister has given this statement. No difference will be made in India. There are many Hussain Obama here as well. We'll take care of them. But do you think, sir, that when USA makes a statement like this, that whether you are from Congress or the BJP or any party, this is in many ways it appeared like a veiled threat. Do you think India should stand together? And respond, or do you think this is just about the BJP and the government, and the government should respond to it? This is nothing to do with the country. No, oh, yeah, definitely, it is nothing to do with the country. It is BJP government which is doing all this nonsense in this country. That is the reason. Not only Obama, 75 MPs, lawmakers, they have written a letter to uh, President Biden. It is the truth. BJP, But, why BJP is silent on this? What is the uh, contents of that letter? वो letter क्या है? वो letter भी तो यही है. What Obama is saying is the same uh, 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 contents of the letter. But but Rashid ji, the fact is that even if Obama wants to say something like this, there are Muslim majority nations like, for example, Egypt. That's giving him the bi biggest civilian honor, the Order of the Nile. So, so in many ways, has India been projected negatively outside? And some nations are realizing that that you know there is a negative perception that is building over India, but that's not true. It is not important which country is Muslim country and which country is not Muslim country. I know that you are talking about Egypt. Egypt, one mufti has given a statement. But here in India, in every city, there is one mufti. How whether that mufti has ever visited this country? What does he know about India? What does he know about the people of this country? How can you compare Egypt and uh, United States? Right, you are not talking yeah. about 75 lawmakers who have uh, written letter to uh, President Biden. Only mufti is important. Nobody knows even his name. Right, you know, sir. yes, sir, it's been given by the government. But okay, I take your point, Rashid Alviji. Thank you so much for speaking to India today.